Hello and welcome. Thanks for tuning in. My name is Paul Whitman, and on this particular day in Advent, I'll be talking with Franny Baldwin on the subject of gratitude. Hi, Franny. Hi, Paul. How are you? I'm I want to welcome you all to my home, and uh, I guess uh, you want to hear, do you, a little bit about my... Um, my story, my life story. Uh, as far as as far as the church is concerned, um, I grew up in the Congregational Church. Um, we uh, attended the the church uh, throughout my whole growing up spirit, uh, period. My parents and my sisters too. It was part of our religious life. We were very involved in the church. Uh, anything from Sunday school to choir to potluck suppers and um, but didn't know much about the Episcopal Church until I met Tyler Baldwin who eventually became my husband. His family too went to church and so after we were married, it uh, wasn't soon after, I became confirmed and then we moved to Fairfield in 1959 and we rolled down the hill and arrived at St. Paul's. And what? so our children, all three of them, grew up at St. Paul's. Um, everything happened there. Our daughter was married there. Boys were acolytes. Um, so that became our church home, and it's been that ever since. Terrific. That's great. Well, on the subject of gratitude, Franny, how would you define it in your, in your own mind? Well, clearly, gratitude is thankfulness uh, for whatever gifts you have received. Um, and we have many. So I feel in particular, I have been blessed with uh, a wonderful childhood and a wonderful husband and so many other things. But do you want me to give you my feeling about how gratitude evolves, Paul? Would yeah, you like me yeah, to do that? Yeah. And you have a Bible quotation that you I have? do have one. Let me just, be, this is for everybody, include, including me. Thank you. Uh, it says, this is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. Amen. Kind of a nice thing to think about every day when we wake up. Um, so, yes, I am grateful for so much. Um, it all sort of evolved, So When I was a little girl, like all of you little girls and boys, um, or all like any, anyone really at a small age or a young age, we learned to say thank you. I mean, it's something our parents teach us that you're supposed to say. And, you mean it when you get something that you weren't expecting or were expecting, it doesn't matter. But then that's about it. Until you get on to high school maybe, or even college when you become more aware, the feelings start to come in to, gratitude, to, to your thankfulness. Your thank you becomes to, starts to have a warm feeling. It can, bring you a, a smile. It can bring you maybe sometimes to tears. But um, I feel that for me, when I remember that feeling of powerful gratitude was after our first child was born and we were delighted to have him, but there was a lot of work going on. And all of a sudden one day I said to myself, wow, this is what my parents did. And I sat down and I sent a letter home thanking my family for what they had done for me. So that's where it all started. And then it just grew. It is, it's a, a definitely for me, it's been an evolving, an evolving emotion. Well, that's really beautiful. And um, now that we're in this time of pandemic and just the, just so much tumult in, in the world. It, tell people how you feel that they can still express gratitude and to feel thankful. Well, you know, we, um, 
we all have our ups and downs. It's not an easy time for any of us. And there's a lot of un, un, sort of underneath the whole thing. There's this gravity, excuse me, not gravity, <laughs> anxiety, excuse me. And um, I think everybody has that more or less and some days more or less. Yes. But if you can concentrate on the fact we are in God's world, and I mean, the sun comes up in the morning and the moon comes up at night and the stars come out on a starry night, birds sing, trees cut, leaf out in the spring. Uh, if you can concentrate on those things that are God given, I do think that it helps. So that would be my take on it. That's your take on it. And, you know, we're rapidly approaching just days away is Christmas. How about Christmas and, and, uh, and handling that this year? It's a different Christmas. It truly is, Paul. You know, um, we may not be with the family, um, all the family that we'd like to be with or any of the family we would want to be with. We not, may not be with the friends we'd like to help celebrate the season. And for those shoppers, they may not physically be going to all the stores that they like to go to. Yes. But I think we have to remember, and particularly this week, I think we're kind of focusing on truth. I think we have to remember that there's something that is very, the true thing about Christmas is the celebration of the birth of our Christ, uh, the Christ child. And with that, I want to wish you a Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas to you, Franny. And thank you all for tuning in and have a very merry and happy one.